How we doing guys, welcome to the channel. So uh, I've got a little selection of videos coming up for you on the Mercedes B-Class. So uh, as follows, it comes up the video. Okay guys, here we are, so welcome to the channel in the uh, Mercedes B-Class. So we've got a few videos that I'm gonna be churning out for you, uh, such as connecting the Bluetooth, um, playing around with your sat nav system, just the basic controls on that and features, uh, and some of the basic controls for this car. Um, so here we go, we're gonna have a little drive in it. Some of the little annoying things that annoy me as a driver, uh, having driven a number of different vehicles. First off is probably the um, the little stick. Still can't get used to that. It's just um, it's a little bit annoying, and sometimes it delays as well. So you, you know when you can reverse up, you put it in reverse, and you got to wait a second, and then it goes. So it's a little bit a little bit slow now and again. Um, but here we go. We're in drive, um, standard setup. So uh, you'll see what I mean by the little annoying bleeps that we get when you're driving this car. Okay, so here we go. Let's uh, get close to some bushes and see if it does it. Oh, this is unusual. All right, okay. Let's just double check the settings. Oh yeah, no, it did come up with uh, the amber sidebar um, notification. So yeah, they're all on. Um, so okay, let's go further. I mean, I must admit, I am a little fan of the B-Class. Um, it's a good sized vehicle. Uh, I'm six foot two, there's plenty of headroom. Um, drive's nice. Um, I've got it on a comfort setting, so it's nice and light on the steering. It's still nippy, um, quite responsive, all you need really, because obviously most of the time you're sitting in traffic, so uh, you just want a comfortable seat, which this has got. Um, it's got the heated seats on it as well. So um, that's a nice little luxury. This is the executive model. Um, so it's got a few extra toys on it and um, AMG wheels. So, oh, and the tinted windows. So it does look quite nice. Um, and it's actually being quiet. It's not bleaked at all. All right, here we go, a little dodgy roundabout. Yeah, I mean, uh, the reason we got this was because of my mum. Um, it's a good car for her because of the good height. Um, one particular thing is the boot. You've got the um, button release on the boot, so you can either do it from inside the car, on the driver's side there's a little button, or obviously on the actual boot, on your key, you can open it on your key, and then when you want to close it, you've got the button, so you can just push it to self-close, um, which is a big feature. Uh, for my mum, as I say. But yeah, I mean, it's super economical. Uh, we filled it up the other day to a full tank, and I think it came up with 370 miles. Um, obviously, depending on driving style and what setting you got it in, if you got it in a sport mode, then obviously it's not going to be as good. Um, and what did it come to? I can't remember, but obviously you can work it out from the number of litres it requires and then times that by the price, what the current prices are, because they're fluctuating. I think at the moment we got it for 138 a litre, um, which was quite cheap compared to some of them at the moment. Yeah, I've done a video on the, um, the lane assist, because that's one thing that bugs me with this car. Um, it's just a little bit annoying. The parking sensors, it's not just front and rear because you've got the side sensors as well and they're annoying but you can't just turn off the side sensors um, so you just turn them all off I mean really you don't really need them you've got a reversing camera as well and mirrors so it's just a it's just a gimmick for the kids I think keep them amused um, the auto um, turn off and auto start can be annoying as well sometimes you feel like you lose a second when you want to pull away and if it's busy London traffic driving about uh, you need it to be a little bit more responsive 
Um, so sometimes it's worth turning that off. All right, I'm going to go into a car park. I'm sure we'll get some buzz in there. Oh, there you go. Nothing around me and it's just geeking off because I'm going up a little tiny slope and then it starts geeking off. So that's what I mean, it can throw you sometimes because you're driving along and start beeping and there's nothing about anywhere and it just, uh, just gets a little bit annoying. So we've got a post behind us, do a bit of reversing for a parking bay. Reverse thing, yeah again, I've hit it once. Alright, okay, so you've got to hit it twice to get it into reverse. The uh, when you are reversing, the mirror drops down. And I've got a car right there, which I couldn't see until I put the mirror back up, so that's also annoying. Yeah, standard, that's it. Uh, obviously you've got your camera. Which is good because it's got a little red line on the camera so you can see when you're um, relatively close to the vehicle. I don't know if it allows you to still open the boot uh, on a distance. We'll check that in a minute. Um, but there you go. There's a little basic test run in it. Um, and I'll just quickly check the boot, see if we can still open the boot. Uh, I, I was a tiny bit in front of the red line on the reversing camera. So it's in the park. Gives you a warning sign. So yeah, I've still got a couple of foot. So uh, I can still get access to the boot comfortably without walking into someone's bumper. So, okay, right, let's switch off the engine. So, if you look on the dash there, you've got this uh, little greyed out icon with um, a vehicle with lines each side. So that's the lane assist. And when you're driving along, it's green uh, if you've got it switched on. And it can be quite annoying because um, I've found a few times going along and um, you get all flashing red lights, the car brakes, and it's, it's, it's not too pleasant. So if you want to get rid of that, you can come down to push this button here. And that'll put you into the quick access menu and then you can just easily turn it off there, as you can see. Um, along with other functions you can turn off, like your parking sensors, which I recommend. If you go in a car wash or somewhere like that, um, turn that off, because otherwise it, the car is just bleeping like crazy. Um, also, if um, you've got a passenger or you, an animal in the car, whatever, um, turn off the motion, um, interior motion sensor because um, otherwise your car alarm is going to be going off and uh, causing all sorts of unnecessary aggravation. So um, that's just a little quick guide there for that particular menu. Um, I'm going to do some more. I will turn that off because that is annoying. Um, but the motion one, when no one's in the car, doesn't matter, leave that on. Obviously parking sensors, if you want them on, if needed. Um, they are a little bit, you can adjust them as well because they can be oversensitive and you can be like half a meter away from something and they're going like crazy and on red again. 